Hello, my name is Nancy Rakoff, and I'm Executive Director here at the Marin Museum of Contemporary Art. And I would like to welcome you to the virtual tour of the exhibit that we have up and running right now. It's our summer national exhibit, and it's called Left Coast. It's been a real interesting process for us to look at the influence of the West Coast, Left Coast on artists, and the way that they treat different topics and attributes of where we live. Since the gold rush, people have been attracted to the magnetic lure of the left coast. The reasons for migration have changed, but artists are in a particularly good position to treat themes, ideas, concepts, and the lure of the left coast. There are many artworks that deal with our proximity to the coastline and the beautiful waterscapes that we enjoy as dwellers on the left coast. One of the themes that was captured in the exhibit is the tremendous contrast in the left coast. Behind me is a beautiful drawing of relaxed and sun-loving lifestyle with this um, incredible graphite drawing of, of folks enjoying themselves at the beach. But not everybody can do that. An examination of the attributes of the left coast wouldn't be complete without looking at some of the downsides. Behind me you see this incredible painting of a homeless encampment. We also have a depiction of the problem with damage to our environment. It looks like a discarded water bottle, but actually it's made out of bronze. Um, this is a marvelously crafted example of what we need to be concerned about in terms of taking care of our environment. This artwork that we see here called Forest Rakers examines the issue of wildfires and how masking up and clearing the forest and adjusting to the risk of wildfire threat, that is a, a real concern that we all have, um, beautifully treated by this artist. We did know that this was going to be an election year and we know that artists are never uh, shy about expressing their views about the important issues of the day. So we thought that Left Coast would give our entering artists an opportunity to share what was on their mind. To jury the exhibit, we invited gallerist Ken Harmon Hashimoto to review the entries. We had received over 200 entries from artists nationwide and to select the show. And we thought Ken would be perfect for the job because he has galleries both in New York and San Francisco. So he was in a great position to see what's special about the left coast. The show that Ken selected is so marvelously diverse, both in terms of media and uh, subject matter. So just as an example, here's an embroidered um, statement of the fast food industry commercialization that's so evident here on the left coast. And then as we move along the wall, we see these five beautiful landscape miniatures done in watercolor, which show the beauty and diversity images that are treated so um, warmly and almost uh, like a love letter to the West Coast. 